Welcome to it. It is Diego from the Asylum Radio Network over here on the video side uh, today, as opposed from uh, being what I probably should always be. And that's just faceless in your car radio, because like my mom always said, face for radio. And, and well, look at this face. I shaved the beard. You know, I got the goatee back. I was told I look 25 today, so I'm feeling pretty OK. I got me a white girl coffee and we're ready to go. In the other news, I got guests today. Catch your breath, Teddy and Josh. What up, boys? How you doing? What up, what up? Doing pretty good. What How up? are you? I'm fantastic. Fantastic now that we're here and we're doing the damn thing. And so happy album release day. Brand new album just dropped. Shame on me. It dropped on all your streaming platforms. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it. <laughs> this is this is album number one, and I'm still blown away by even. I feel like I said that wrong by even saying it. this is album number one for you guys. Yeah, we're just babies. It's, yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, so take us through the whole process because, like, this has been kind of a long time coming. It's been simmering there for a hot minute with this album, and then finally it released today. So. Kind of take us through the, the the writing process, and then we had summer. We had some nice tours. Uh, I seen you guys. I actually brought you guys out at um, uh, uh, Blue Ridge, which was which was fun as hell. I just start. I actually started the show, which was nerve wracking as hell. Uh, but you know, no pressure. We we pulled it off. Uh, so yeah, just take us through that whole process. Uh, man, it's been a long one. It started in 2020. Um, we went and recorded a, the single Shame on Me. And then after that, uh, it just kind of started accumulating little by little. Like, we didn't realize that we were going to be making an album uh, when we were going out and recording these songs. We were just kind of, you know, making singles, uh, kind of throwing around the idea, uh, especially after Dial Tone, of, like, signing with a label. And then uh, once we signed to Thriller, basically first thing we did was like head straight to the studio and recorded an album. So yeah, we've been sitting on this for what about almost a year now. Yeah. 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 So what, what was, was that y'all's goal was to like, you just wanted to tour your ass off this summer or that just kind of happened. Was that an organic thing or was that like set up? That was kind of what you wanted to do. We want to tour our ass off always. Oh uh, yeah. That's, that our favorite but, part is playing shows, you know. Yeah, but it was definitely organic. Not, none of the stuff that happened this year was planned at all. It was all just coming all at once to us, and then we we're like, "Yeah, let's do it." Is that the way? That, would you rather have it that way? Are you guys like planned out, or you you like a, a fly by the seat of your pants type? I mean, I'm 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 more like going with the wind type of type of guy. But yeah, yeah. I mean, in this like. Like, kind of in our, our position is kind of unique where, like, we try to plan out as much as we can, but, like, we're kind of forced to fly by the seat of our pants a lot. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. a lot of our, a lot of what we do is, like, reactive, you know. You feel like, like it makes you better performers probably then, too? Like, just be ready for anything type of thing? Like, one, two, three, let's go. No time to think. I feel like when we're on stage is when we're, like, the most loose so like yeah, we don't really think about it yet. We just kind of go with it, and whatever happens, happens. Yeah, yep. And you guys are on a small break right now, right? And then you fire the tour back up in November. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that tour is gonna be so much fun, dude. It, it is a huge tour. Like it runs from. I'm looking right here, November 21st. Uh, first stop, Portland, Maine, at State Theater, and it's got you running all the way through December 17th. Uh, winds up in Harrisburg at the Harrisburg. Uh, Midtown Arts Center. So that's that's a that's a that's a girthy tour right there. It'll be snowing like a mofo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Oh, is it gonna be snowing? Oh, oh man. Oh, we, we, we need snow tires. Too. We need snow tires 100 percent for that bus. <laughs> like who yeah, who booked your December? Like we gotta take a grievance out right now. Like just a quick hey. rundown in your in your December. We Was it you? You contact our manager, Dave Bethel, and Mr. Our, our booking agent, Mr. Nick Storch, and you talk to them about it, because I told them, I told them no northern winter tours, sirs, but yeah, they, here we they, are, going as they north as listen. we can. Yeah, they kind of listened, because, I mean, you know, they took you a little east towards the end, but de- so December, December 8th, 
Colorado Springs, snow. December 10th, Lincoln, Nebraska, snow. <laughs> yeah, thank God 11... we have a driver for this tour coming up. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. yeah and he, he, uh, he's you pretty sure he's experienced with uh, driving in the snow. Minneapolis, Milwaukee, Chicago, Niagara Falls, and Harrisburg. Snow, snow, snow. Hey, that's gonna be that's gonna be awesome though, because like everybody's gonna want to get in, get in the warm, get out of the cold, you know, rock out, sweat your asses sure. off, get nice and warm. Should book call it this home. the wide out tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah, get sponsored by like I, I don't know uh, what's the what's that big uh Columbia with all the galoshes and stuff. It could be the sponsored by Columbia. Putting it out there right now, let's make it happen. But yeah, that's still badass. To North Face jacket. That's it. The North Face. That's the one. That's the that's the big one. Yes, dude. You can make that. We can make that happen right now. Like if you're out there, uh, CEO of North Face, the back end of this tour, we're gonna need that. We're gonna need all your parkas and some beanies and probably some gloves too. If you're like me, I don't like. Yeah. I don't like. Are you guys? You guys are not cold. Like you, Texas, right? That's Texas guys. Is that uh, right? Yeah, he's in Texas. I'm in Oklahoma. Okay, so so still though, it's not really snow. Is that it gets like, cold at night right now? But like, it doesn't like when it does snow here. It's ice. It's not snow. Ugh, no, I can't. Do yeah, it. usually it rains and then it like, you know, then like twenty six degree weather comes through and then it all freezes. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't do the inclement weather. Originally from California, I live in Nashville now, and it seems like every year. Nashville gets a little colder with a little more snow. And I was like, I didn't sign up for this. This is not, this was not on the map when I moved here. Yeah. 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 You just, you just wait for one of those big snowstorms to come through the map. My, my brother lives over there. Oof, man. They talk about, uh, 93, I think was the one that the big one shut everybody down. And every year, every year is like the, the old timers, as they call it, like the old timers that sits at Hardee's, they'll sit and drink a coffee. Yep. Yep. Yep, I seen I seen two wooly bully black worms this weekend with the brown hairs. <laughs> you know what that means? And I'm like, I don't, I don't like. There was all. a millworm in my coffee yep. bean this morning, <laughs> and my is, left knee you... was hurting real bad on the Wednesday. Yeah, that's yeah. it. That's, oh February's gonna have some bad snow. Like, how do you know? It's <laughs> it's freaking October. How do you know that? It's it, and it's yeah, and it's never tomorrow. It's always like February, like a six month forecast from a dodgy knee and a millworm. He's just over there reading the farmer's almanac, just thinking that's that, it. Know, he's- that's that's absolutely all it is. Uh, so we can go like send everybody to your website because I'm looking at your merch right now, and that that shit's official, man. Like I, I've got to pick me up some of this. Hey, you saw those vinyls though, right? No, or yeah, did I? Vinyl. You got vinyl? Yeah, they're freaking I, sweet, man. I miss that. Is that on the website? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's on yeah. Thriller's website. Oh, okay, okay. So yeah, then to promote the shit out of that right now. Yes, tell tell everybody where to go for that. Yeah, go to thrillerrecords.com. We should be on the front page. Um, go to shop, catch your breath on there, and then pick up a vinyl or a CD or both or even both vinyls because we have two yeah, different color a, variants. There's bundled packages too with uh, we we got some badass long sleeves. I think you get a long sleeve, a vinyl, and an album and a poster in the bundle package. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I might have gone too far with a poster. No, never too far. As you can see behind me, we we love posters. Posters are still a thing. Don't let anybody tell you they're not. Like no, I mean poster. like I don't know if the poster is part of the bundle or not. Oh, oh yeah, so. yeah, it's a part of the bundle. So yeah, it's four items in the bundle, and I think it's I think it's like ridiculously cheap like 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 criminally cheap i think it's only like 80 bucks for all four things yeah, like a vinyl I'm... an album a long sleeve and a poster that's like that's stealing it that's I'm, I'm looking at it i'm looking at it right now yeah like that's that is ridiculously cheap ridiculously cheap we're gonna have to pick one up for the studio here I, so i can i can represent oh, yeah. so that, that would Thank yeah that would be support. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So let everybody know before we get you out of here, let everybody know where you can find the music. Of course, like I said, the new album, if you're just now tuning in, joining me is Catch Your Breath. New album dropped today. Shame on me. Shame on you if you haven't heard it yet. You can go hear it pretty much uh, where at, boys? You can hear it everywhere. Yeah, anywhere. Yeah, you hear it I mean, on our from, from Spotify, Spotify to Tidal. Tidal, Apple Music, YouTube, iTunes, Napster. Oh. Napster. <laughs> Napster. We're on Napster. Dude, Napster's making we're, we're a comeback. We're trying to get downloaded on the media player by default. Guys, we're going to be everywhere. 
dude. That's it. That's it. We're, you just be sitting in your office space and you just hear music coming from you. You just start checking everything that you have. It's a Bluetooth. Yeah. Old Windows media player. Appreciate it. <laughs> Alexa, play dial tone by Catch Your Breath. See, now we're playing everywhere, everywhere. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> All right, Teddy and Josh from Catch Your Breath. Brand new album out right now. Go check them out everywhere where music is available. Thank you, boys. I'm sure we'll see you down the road soon. Hey, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you.